Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to share with you this eye look that I am wearing using the beautiful Huda Beauty Empowered Eyeshadow Palette. Hi and welcome. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ange and I love to share all things beauty and lifestyle aimed at the more mature woman as I navigate my more mature years. If that sounds like something you would be interested in, please consider subscribing by clicking on the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to click on the notification bell so that YouTube lets you know each time I do upload a video. I do lots of eyeshadow tutorials, I have hooded, downturned, mature eyes, so I probably do more eyeshadow tutorials than anything else because I love makeup and eyeshadows are my kryptonite. So I do have lots of those sorts of videos, but I throw in skincare and other interesting videos aimed at the more mature woman. So please consider subscribing. Now, in my recent video where I shared beauty items that I was going to buy and what I was going to pass on, I suggested I wasn't going to get this palette. However, I decided to drop quite a few items from my wish list that I thought I would be tempted with. All of the Charlotte Tilbury that I suggested I was going to buy, I've decided not to get unless she comes out with a bomb 12 pan eyeshadow palette because I do love those eyeshadow palettes and I dropped the Pat McGrath of five pan eyeshadows so I thought I did really well by even culling my wish list even more but I decided I would go for this Huda Beauty palette I have all of the Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes apart from I got I have passed on the original one the row I think it was the remastered palette and the nudes the new nudes because it was just too pinky and pale for me but I have most of her other palettes I love these palettes there are 18 shades it's 67 us dollars the quality is phenomenal they're made in italy the they i love the fact she only comes out with one a year she's not bombarding us all the time now i do have to say i think the quality in these large palettes these 67 dollar palettes are far superior to the nine pan palettes that she brings out I have only got one of those left which is the no I've got two I've got the Jaguar palette and Smoky palette uh, I just find that the quality of those nine pan palettes are not the same or the same standard as these bigger ones the shimmers in these are creamy, they are pigmented, you don't need to wet your brush, you don't need to use a primer, um, a, a, a glitter glue, they are just phenomenal and I just love the quality, the mattes blend beautifully so I just think that you can't go wrong. I think out of the three big ones, for me, the three big names are Pat McGrath, Natasha Denona, and for me, Huda Beauty. Um, I definitely would put Natasha Denona and Huda Beauty up in the top two. Pat McGrath, yes, she has beautiful eyeshadows, and I own six of her Mothership palettes and one of her Christmas palettes. I own some quads, but when you compare the prices to the quality I'm sort of going a wee bit stale on Pat McGrath a little bit because <clears throat> I just think you get just as well as good if not better pigmentation blendability and impact from Natasha and Huda for half the price and you get more shadows as far as i'm concerned okay the pans might be bigger in the pat mcgrath motherships you you only get 10 though and i'm never 
and my lifestyle going to hit pan on those because I have so many palettes. If I only had one, maybe I would. I would rather have 18 shades in smaller pan sizes that I can play with and enjoy more of the shades, but that's my personal preference. So Huda and Natasha are really up there for eyeshadow quality for me. Um, Pat McGrath and probably Charlotte next. So, and then, yeah, so Huda and Natasha, yeah, are definitely up there for me. I am super, super impressed that these shades are a mixture of colours. You've got two cream shades here. You've got a black and you have a deep purple shade that is cream. You've got the these beautiful shimmers in here. Now, this is interesting. Manifest it. To me... It is a creamy one as well. So that's going to be interesting to try in a future video. I didn't use it today. This part of the palette here is quite cool. These shades that I used today, very warm. So a very juxtaposition of shades, but they play very well together. So what I will do is I will swatch all these shades for you and then we will get into this eyeshadow look and see what we think on, of how these shadows perform. And this is just my first video. I will, I will follow up with a three looks, one palette video using this because I think you can get lots of different looks from this one palette. I had to use my whole arm to swatch. The first one we have is the cream black purpose. The next shade we have is courageous. Now in the pan this looks purple but on my hand or even on the swatch it looks purple but it's a duochrome and it looks a brownie shade on my arm. The next one is Limitless, which is a very chunky gold. Then we have a beautiful mm, plummy matte shade called Confident. Another glittery gold Charisma. A brown matte Keep Going. A movie shade matte in Big Dreams. This is interesting. This is a creamy shade it's um like a lip balm and it's called manifest it a beautiful shade here that is looking pewter on my arm but on my eyes it looks gold and that is bold moves we have another glitter do it a peachy matte power a more orangey matte get it trying to get all these shades up my arm making sure you can see them all the next one is worthy which is the another cream shade um, like cream consistency we have another matte called real a another matte winner a shimmer that's got two shades in the pan called visionary Another matte called Best Self and a very warm matte called Legacy. Okay, so my mic wasn't turned on. So for the very first portion of this, I am going to do a voiceover. And the first shade that I'm going to use is Power, a very pale peach shade. And I'm using a Morphe 504 brush. I'm just going to take that all over the eyelid from lash line to the brow. This is a very similar colour to one of my very first colours I had with a MAC single and even a Makeup Geek single. Uh, Makeup Geek was Beaches and Cream. The next shade I'm going to go for is just slightly deeper and is a Best Self. And with this color shade, I am just going in the outer portion of my eye 
in the outer corner and blending that in small circular motions and then window wiper sort of sweeping across the crease just to give some sort of definition in that crease area. Now I'm going in with the Sonia G Worker One brush and the shade I'm going to go in this time is slightly warmer, a little bit more deeper and is Get It. And with this shade I am just concentrating on that outer corner of the eye again and more being specific in that crease area. I just realized that I do not have my microphone on. So I have got it on now. <laughs> and I will voice over at least what I've got. Okay, so what I was saying is that I am patting this shade into the eyelid rather than swiping so I'm patting dabbing it in and then just blending that up and in just in that outer corner now what I did suggest was that these shades are very orange toned uh, when it comes to the warmth a lot more orange than some of the warm shades I've been using lately which are probably more coppery sunset -y colors this is just orange tones but really pretty i'm suggesting that i'm tending towards more of the warmer shades just at the minute because it is spring here in new zealand uh you wouldn't know that from the temperatures the temperatures have been extremely cold i mean we had snow two or three weeks ago which is crazy for October uh, but I have been gravitating to more of the warmer shades wearing the odd bit of gold I tend to wear silver more on a daily basis but I've been wearing a little bit of gold and just now and then and when I have been I've been gravitating to some of these warm shades now i'm going to go in with confident which is a very deep purple plum shade and I'm just going to once again dab and tap in this outer corner and I'm not going to go as high as I did with the last shade Legacy I just want to keep it low in this outer portion of the eye now I am not tapping off my brush and I probably should be because I've got a little bit of fallout just in here and it is showing up because I think the concealer that I've used today has just been a little bit too light to be fair just adding some depth to the orange shades there with this purpley brown they mix beautifully together those shades together really really nicely I'm just going to lift the outer corner of my eyebrow because having mature eyes we have little crevices and crinkles and by lifting the outer corner of the eyebrow you just get into all of that negative space 
Okay, just running that. I'm going to run that all the way along my lower lash. Love that colour. Colour combinations really nice. I always really love the formulation quality of Huda shadows. And I actually really love that she only brings one of these palettes out a year. So you're not bombarded all the time with stuff. And I've stopped buying the mini palettes from Huda. And these are the only palettes now that I do buy from her. But the quality is always outstanding. Now I do know some of my subscribers out there are not going to like this palette because it's too grungy, too dark, too warm. But I love the fact myself that it has a mixture of warm and cool shades in here. Now in my next video, straight after filming this, I'm going to compare it to... The Natasha Denona My Dreams palette. And see how similar or not they may be. And as always, I always love going back in with my previous brushes and just blending the edges. And I'm going to blend. Outer corners as well. I just don't like harsh lines, and I think when you are more mature, blending is just something that I think is really, really important when you're doing makeup. beautiful now i'm going to i don't know how this is going to transpire on the eye but i'm going to go in with this two-toned shimmer shade how that's going to translate on the eye i have no idea but it looks very interesting okay i'm going to go in with a morphe m167 with that shade It's very similar to something I've used and I think I've done a really similar look with the Natasha Denona My Dreams, I think. Okay, so I'm going to pop that on first and then I'm going to add another colour. It's very, very warm. Let's get a clean brush and go in with a Morphe 124 brush. And I'm going to go in with Bold Moves, which is the sort of pewter mixture of gold and silver glitters. Now, what I love about Huda shadows is look at that not not wetting the brush not using a primer but look how that has gone on wow that is amazeballs now this has come out way more gold than it appears in the pan I thought it would come out more pewtery, but it's definitely come out more gold. But oh my goodness, look at the impact of that. You, if you love shimmers, Huda does no wrong in my opinion with shimmers. And to be fair, as much as I love my Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes that I have for $125 for a Pat McGrath 
Mothership palette with 10 shades and the price that you pay for a Huda palette for 18 shades. I think you get, well I know, you get way more bang for your buck with the Huda and you cannot go wrong with her shimmers. They're just to die for. So I haven't gone all the way into the corner with that shade. And I'm just blending the edges. And I'm going to leave it at that. It is a super warm eye look. I mean, look at this gold in here. <clears throat> but I think I'm all golded out. Sorry, my camera is really struggling today. This gold here is so, so, I mean, intense. So, 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 so intense. Oh my gosh, it does not want to. Look at that. But I think I've been golded out with Pat McGrath. So I haven't gone for that today. But oh my goodness, that is so... So, so bright. I mean, look at that. Unbelievable. I'm going to end up with gold everywhere. Quite chunky. But, oh my goodness, glittery. Okay, I'm going to finish off with some eyeliner and I'm only going to wear mascara as I have said in a previous video. I'm not wearing false lashes at the moment. I'm wanting to um, look after my natural lashes at the moment. So I'm just using a lash primer and a mascara. They're growing really well with the help of uh, Revita Lash, lash Serum. Sher Hello? with Revita Lash Lash Serum at the moment and so I will just put some eyeliner on and some mascara and okay before I put some eyeliner and mascara on I'm going to go back in with our first our first transition shade and I am going to really blends the upper portion of my eyelid so that it looks finished I actually can't believe how warm that portion of the palette is Because it is so warm, I'm going to go in with black liner. In the upper water line, in lash line. I am just using a lash primer and mascara. I'm trying to really nurture and look after my natural lashes at the moment as they grow back from zero and I'm so proud of how they're going I am using a lash serum Revita lash at the moment I thought I would just splash out in a more expensive one to start with and then I'm going to go back to my flash lash because that's just not compare no comparison in price it's only about $50 for flash lash and nearly 200 for Revital lash, but I desperately wanted my lashes to grow and they're doing really well. And I am taking a collagen supplement. Okay, now going in with so the primer I used was the Lancome Sills Booster XL, and now I'm going in with the Lancome Lash Doll. And they are still curled from the lash perm that I did a wee while ago. And it's probably been a good six weeks. 
and they are still really well curled. I love that stuff and I'll talk more about it in my upcoming faves video. Okay, so that's the finished eye look using all the warm shades in the Huda Beauty Empowered palette. Once again, I'm not disappointed. I love Huda Beauty eyeshadows, as I said whilst I was doing the eye look. Her shadows are of really great quality. They blend well. The shimmers are impeccable. And I think, if I remember rightly, her palettes of this size are made in Italy. And I think that is a contributor to the quality of the shadows is um, you just can't go past formulations that are made in Italy. I just really do think that the formulations are just so much better than um, made elsewhere. So I will do another video with a three looks one palette using this beautiful shades in here because there's such a beautiful mixture you've got these cools you've the shimmers i'm dying to try the creams in here i'm not sure how i'm going to use those i think the black you could only use as a liner should we try that should we try that let's go in with this angled hard definer and see how easy or hard that's going to be to add a line on this upper lash line. See it's doing pretty good. Actually it is. Here we go. You could use it as a liner. Okay. So, I mean, that's really good. That gives it more versatility if you can use that as a liner. So, great travel palette because you've got a mixture of warms, cools, and then you've got a really dark purple cream that you can obviously use as a liner. And the black okay so there is a way to utilize all of those I am very impressed I hope you enjoyed that guys I love it I'm looking forward to playing with the other shades in here I will do another video three looks one palette I'm also going to compare this palette to the Natasha Denona Dreams palette in another video and see how similar they are. It's really interesting how brands can spend so long planning palettes. They don't just come up with these overnight. They are a long time in the planning and the making. And to have two palettes come out very close together that are very similar is... Um, very interesting in my mind so if you enjoyed this video and you like this eye look please give the video a thumbs up I would truly appreciate it if you haven't already please don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button down below I do look forward to seeing you back I have got a video coming up on my life update my health update that will probably be my next video and I'm going to be sharing you with you how things are going to be going forward. I've had a really big rethink on my life so if you're interested in hearing about that please join me in that video and thanks for joining me. Thanks for taking time out of your day today for watching my video and I hope you've all had a beautiful and a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. See you later guys. Bye.